Yep. All right, we're gonna take a look at the M600 Pro with the H16 gimbal from Gremsey. So first I'm gonna fire up the drone with a two button press. Just press one battery, that'll initiate the other five. We get a loud beep and the drone's on. I've got my remote controller on with a green light showing that I'm hooked up to the drone. I'm in the DJI Go app and I'm gonna enter the camera mode. Around the back side here, I'm just gonna flick the power switch for the H16. Low point has been updated. I wanna just keep it steady while it does that boot sequence there. Uh, for your autonomous missions, you're going to be flying through Ground Station Pro. Uh, but just for manual flights, you'll be in the Go app and you'll get all of your aircraft uh, telemetry up top there. On the top left here, you've got a dial. Once you roll that dial, the gimbal will initiate. And we've got it set so it'll point straight down if you hold it all the way. And then when you come back up, it'll stay at zero. If you press C1 and then roll that dial, you get pan, but I don't think you'll be using that much. So for the most part, you'll be tilting straight down. Right now we've got our Sony camera on there, but once you get your sensor hooked up, you'll have to balance this and adjust that accordingly. Um, and let's just get a view of just all the wiring we've got back here on the H16. So we've got a wire coming out of the gimbal to this can link module here. Um, the wire harness ties back into the gimbal and then a, another wire dives up into the flight controller there. Uh, so we've got a, a walkthrough of that written up for you as well. The battery kind of pops in place in the back here and just runs around to the side to get power. show them the disconnect process too and we have to take it off. Okay. Uh, so when it comes time to take this gimbal off, we're going to power everything down. So drone's down, gimbal's down. And let's just take a look at this one cable over here that we've got going on. So on the bottom you've got a latch and a button. And that'll pop your gimbal off, but you're still connected here. So this P1 cable is going to have to get disconnected if you want to remove the gimbal completely. When it comes time to put it back in, match your colors, color coded in there as well. Pop that on. Kind of pull your cable through, press your button. So now you're locked in place and then the final clamp to get you on there. Just make sure your cable is not going to get snagged up in anything. Everything's free and clear here. And that's just about it.